Guys, no way. Fired up. Let's go. You guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Stay Tuned Moto Garage. We're an up and coming YouTuber. Genius is at work. First, let me give you guys a little update. Arena Cross ended and then the outdoor races have started and so have the SECCA races. But there's only gonna be certain outdoor races that I race. For example, I think next weekend, everybody's going to McClarity's if it's next weekend, where I will join the D-Class and vlog that with this bike. I think all the boys are going, so fire it up. And this bike is ready. She's got new chains and sprockets. She's got new tires, full oil change. It's turnkey. And I know you guys missed the number 81. I know you missed the vlogs. I know, me too. Now, some of you saw me post about this. You're probably like, what the hell is that? Well, it's a 2016 TTR 230. And uh, yeah, you're right. Why would I buy this? They are known to be super slow and dogmatics. Well, guess what guys? This bike has so much potential and there's videos of people unlocking these bikes. So what you gotta do, so here's the plan, here's the plan. First of all, the bike's ripped apart, I'm going through it. I'm currently waiting for a carb rebuild kit to show up and uh, we're rejetting this thing. They come very lean or just like underpowered from stock, which it has a lot of power. I already rode this bike, but you modify that carburetor, you open it up, you uncork this thing. I already got rid of the screen. You take out the boot. And yes, the previous owner did have an air tag in there that I took out, but he told me about it, so it's all good. You take out the little silencer thingy, whatever the heck that's called. You see, we got these pieces over here already ripped off. And then when you do that, this thing becomes a six speed monster. Did I mention this is six speeds, by the way? Speaking of six speed, you can also change this front one out, 15 tooth. Uh, right now it's a 13 tooth, so a lot of guys do 15 tooth in the front and it needs a new chain, so I think I'm gonna order those parts now. And then this thing's a beast. I mean, how could it not be a beast? Think about it, it's 230 cc's, it's a Yamaha. Yamaha and Hondas are the best bikes you can make. These things run forever. I mean, look at it, it's almost the same thing as my race bike. Next, let's talk about the suspension because this is very soft. You can get different springs for that, and you can actually send your suspension out and get a different spring for that. There's just, there's a company that makes them for this bike. I also plan on installing this headlight. I got the wiring kit that's super bright. We're gonna put that on and check this out. You already know, I got full graphics kit. Number 81, stay tuned moto for this thing. Monster Energy Yamaha, <laughs> of course, got to. And you know why? Well, that's because I plan on taking this thing to the SECCA races. That's right, if they let me enter this bike, I'm gonna send it. Imagine that, a cheap TTR that rips, it's modified, uncorked, keeps up with guys with their brand new $20,000 KTMs, maybe even pass them, probably. Now you know I'm all about the epic footage, so if they let me race it, you know I will. Now there's a couple other things about this bike too, because that's my real race bike, and today's a rainy, soggy day, so I would never wanna take that out. Like right now, if this was running, I would go take this in the power lines. I'd go mud bogging. I'll go beat the crap out of this. I'll put 500 hours on this thing. I can ride this thing right out of my garage, right to the power lines. I've, I did it the other day. I could ride it every single day. If you're using your race bike and you're using it and you're putting a bunch of hours on it and you're every day and you're doing practice and you know, you're not racing, it's, it's not the way to do it because look what race teams do. They don't, they, they have race bikes and they have practice bikes. But I also wanna, you know, show people that for the low, you can have a really good bike. These things go like a thousand hours without even blowing up. And clearly you can see she needs new tires. This back one is like a OEM style. No good. All right, let's get into some fun stuff. So you got wig racing. We're gonna check this out. Look at this company. Look at these things. Look at the way these come packaged. Isn't that the greatest thing ever? Look at this, this is amazing. Anyway, 130 bucks for those shipped. And I believe they're made in America. Um, and they're high quality. Let's get these things opened out. Check them out. Well, that was certainly interesting. And I recently had to cash out my 401k and eliminate my children's college fund to get these Dunlop R34s installed. And uh, I ain't doing that for this bike. Oh yeah, those are nice. Wig racing, I'm a new fan. They don't seem like they're any different of a quality than tires that are twice as much each. You guys, 125 bucks shipped with brand new tubes. Come on, man. And all these reviews, people love them. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, the old. If I would have known, I would have definitely put these 
on the CRF. Folks, never try this at home, but this is how you remove a tire. But don't do this, ever. All right, guys, you're gonna have to stay tuned to see the second half of how this goes. But I'll leave you with some footage of when I first bought this bike and took it for its first ride. Even though she was corked up, slow, no throttle response. Um, I gotta add it to the video, so stay tuned. So he did say the bike was sitting for a little bit, so we're gonna fill her up with some fresh 93. like a kitten bro no uh, okay so a few things this thing rips and it's small it's not huge but it's not small like a 110 or a 125 and uh i love it so far it's a six speed dude this thing's perfect i could take it the small blower and everything i gotta take it easy because the front tire on this thing is clapped and you know how that goes like a 110 but it's way bigger than a 110 which is which is cool because a 110 can get pretty sketchy oh let's go up this uphill I definitely could put a little bit of money into it. T good tires, maybe maybe some fork springs in the front because the front's super soft. We could definitely tighten that up. And then uh, a headlight, new bars and grips. I had to text the group of riders. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell them I traded my 250R for this thing. <laughs> running good. <laughs> 